One common complaint I get from almost all my subscribers is that whenever they try to play Free Fire on any emulator, they experience lag. This is an issue faced by nearly all of them. So therefore, in today's video, I will provide you with an emulator where you won't face any lag, and not only will you be able to play Free Fire, but you can also play many other games smoothly. Just watch the video till the end, and you'll understand the entire process. Now, let's head to the PC screen where I'll explain the rest of the steps. Let's roll. So first, let me show you my PC specs to clear any doubts you might have regarding the system requirements. As you can see, my PC currently has only 2 GB of RAM and a second generation i5 processor. When it comes to the graphics card, I have a 64 MB Intel HD graphics card. Now that you know the specs, let's move on to the main part of the video. First, you need to download both of these zip files. The download link is available on my website. And since the size is just 400 MB, it should download easily. I've already downloaded it here, so now I'll extract the files. Once the extraction is complete, you'll get a folder that you need to open. After that, go into the engine and scroll down a bit. Here, you'll see a file, and you simply need to create a shortcut of this file on your desktop. After that, extract the second one as well. Once the extraction is complete, you'll notice some files, which you need to copy all of them and paste it into the main directory of the emulator. Once done, launch the emulator from the shortcut you created earlier. Next, go to the main settings and adjust the resolution to 800 by 600. For CPU cores, select two cores only and allocate one GB of RAM in the RAM section. After that, save the settings and restart the emulator. Now that the settings are configured, let's move on to installing Free Fire. You can download the Free Fire APK from the link available on my website. Since this is a direct APK file, you won't need the OBB file. Just drag and drop this APK into the emulator and the installation will start automatically. Now that Free Fire has been successfully installed, I'll stop the screen recording and switch to hand cam recording for the rest of the process to ensure you experience minimal lag. One more thing, I recommend disabling all unnecessary background processes so that you experience as little lag as possible. So now let's launch game. So I've reached the login page and you can either log in via Facebook or Google. For now, I'll proceed with a guest account. Once you're in the lobby, pause all the resources that are downloading in the background. Also, make sure to check your graphics settings and ensure they are set to low for smoother gameplay. So we've done everything so far. And now let's start the match. As you can see, the match has begun, and I'm getting around 25 to 30 FPS, which is decent enough to play Free Fire smoothly. Besides this, the key mapping is also working quite well. We only see a slight drop in FPS when a lot of players gather in one area. But overall, the emulator is quite good, and you should definitely try it. However, if it doesn't work for you, or if free fire lags, I have made a detailed tutorial video on this in which I showed how to run free fire without any emulator or Android OS. So if you want to watch that tutorial, click on the video on the left. And yes, I'll see you there. Bye.